Hello everyone. So this time I bring you a review of the HGW seat belts set uh, for the 132nd scale Spitfire Mark II A from Ravel. And this was quite a surprise for me. And um, it was the first time I used this product. And I liked it so much that I uh, really wanted to do this review and tell you guys about it. This detail set is comprised of two different parts. One pre-cut micro textile seat belt set and one uh, photo etched uh, buckle set from Edward. The packaging is really nice. It comes uh, inside a very nice uh, plastic envelope with the um, very nice printed instructions on the back and the seat belt parts come nicely secured and glued on the front uh, print. Between the prints there's a very nice rigid piece of cardboard that helps to prevent some uh, bending or folding uh, during uh, shipping and mishandling of the of the detail set and it's a very good thinking on part of the manufacturers the instructions are really nice they were really easy to follow I had uh, no trouble in understanding them or uh, trying to follow every step of the way so for a first time build, I consider that these instructions were pretty clear and really helped me in achieving the, the assembly of the, of the seat belt successfully. The reason why I wanted to experiment and uh, have this set and try it out was of course the textile parts. Uh, the description in the uh, packaging says pre-cut micro textile seat belts, fine print, real textile, natural texture, soft material, and I can say that all of this is true. Uh, as you can see through the uh, images that I'm going to present you with, um, these are very nice. I mean, they have um, stitching detail, uh, they're finely cut and they are very fine in texture indeed. These come in a carrier film of sorts. Uh, I have no idea why they have uh, this carrier film because they're not um, a self-adhesive. Uh, I believe that's for uh, their laser cutting purposes. But, however, this is, um, I can tell you that the fabric itself is very fine and very easy to work with and um, the texture is simply, simply amazing. Really, really fine. And it works beautifully at uh, 1 32nd scale. The photo etch is of very good quality. It's a uh, standard Edward uh, photo etch. It's a very small fret. It comes with plenty of parts. Um, I think uh, it's enough to build two versions of the seat belts. And the parts are really well engraved, very easy to work with. And overall, well, it's what you already expect from Edward. It was extremely easy to work with uh, these photo etch parts and the textile parts, making this a great detail set to add to your aircraft build. Once they were assembled, the seat belts uh, really brought to life the cockpit and added that, you know, that extra little detail that made that that cockpit come alive. I really love the way they sit and the way they sit on the seat, and it's um, it just you know it just gives you that extra realism when you when you look at the opened uh, canopy. So I really recommend these seat belts and this detail set. And I urge you to go online onto HGW's website. They have a wonderful eShop, very reasonable shipping prices and uh, instructions on how, on how to assemble and paint and use these seat belts. 
On that final note, I wish to say that I did not paint or apply washes or anything to these seat belts, as they, you know, they really looked good as is. But I understand that they have several instructions in this regard that tell you to uh, paint and apply washes in a certain way. Uh, so I urge you to go on their website, learn more about these, this company and these uh, detail sets. That's all from me. Uh, thank you for watching and keep modeling.